bottles on wine Picking up skills of every kind Old school thrills and modern frights We're serving up screens for 60 nights From ghastly new to aged age gore Two months of chills, who could want more? It's flip-flopped over, double the dread Laugh till you scream, we'll hide under the bed From cheesy slashers to eerie cold Two months of horror, new and old This week, we're stepping into the world of faith and terror with Heretic, directed by Scott Beck and Brian Woods, starring Hugh Grant in his most menacing role yet. The film traps two young missionaries in a deadly game of survival. Will they escape the horrors behind Mr. Reed's door, or are they doomed to lose more than their faith? We're here to share a message of hope and love. Do you have a moment to hear about the Book of Mormon? <laughs> this, this week on Flick Floptober. <laughs> Flock Toba, 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 Toba. All right, Gary Heretic. We're, we're, uh, we're in November, but we're continuing Flick Floptober. Flick Flock November. Right. Without a graphic change. All right, fix sorry. That, fix that in post. Yeah, not going <laughs> to. Not going to happen. <laughs> um, so, uh, real quick, we'll do uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Gary has this thing sitting at 93 with the critics and 75 with the audience. Interesting. Um, yeah, very interesting. Um. Do you want to go ahead and we'll do our quick reviews and yeah, we'll do, we're going to do something different this time. This episode is going to be a short episode, just kind of giving our a brief overview of what we think about the film, giving you our rating. And, uh, and then we're going to actually put out a spoiler review for this one, I think. So we can actually talk a little bit more in depth about it. So yeah, not talk uh, off camera, right? No more talking off camera, Kev. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> um, if uh if do you want to do ratings first yeah a quick reminder that our rating system is unconventional we don't hand out stars we hand out poos and tps up to five of them and just to add more confusion the more we give the crappier we think the film is crappier get it y yeah it's dumb but that's the way we do it all right do you want to go first or me yeah sorry i had to cough i didn't mean to freeze frame it there hey i can go first are you ready for my scathing review ready. rating Ready. Fire away. Gary, I don't know if we have the ability to do this. I'm sure you do, but um, are we doing overlay or are we just going to say it? Just say it. Just say I it. give this, Gary, a half a poop. Half a poop. I loved this movie. Andy, I gave it half a TP. Yes! <laughs> because I do love this movie. <laughs> this movie was awesome. <laughs> I, you know, I will say one thing right off the get right for the get go here is, uh, you know, as I'm watching this film, I kept thinking they're going to spoil it in the end. Yeah. The ending's going to come and I'm going to be like, why did they ruin it? Because that seems to be the thing too late, too much lately is like the movie's great. And then all of a sudden it just kind of fizzles. Yeah. And I got to say, man, I like this movie all the way through. Um, we can break down a little bit of it real quick, but, um, but I agree with you. Great film. Walked out yeah. of very happy. Oh, this was so just it, it was everything I wanted in this film. I mean, it yeah. didn't disappoint. I had high hopes for it and it completely delivered completely. I was like, man. Oh, and, uh, you know, anyway, I don't want to ruin anything by too much, but uh, I will. Uh, can I can I do a quick uh, review here? I'll read one. Yeah, yeah, go for it. So over on our, our, our Rotten Tomatoes, our agitator, agitator, agitator that we use. Uh, agitator <laughs> there you go gary will fix that in post no. uh i found a review from a guy uh from uh, something called the gate i don't know if it's a magazine or a newspaper or an online thing but uh this critic's name gary andrew parker oh wow and it's not me or the, okay. of the ufo so I was like, is this you just being funny <laughs> no it's true you can go to Rotten tomatoes right now and see a review by a guy named andrew parker and it is not me but uh it basically says a uh, heretic gets maximum mileage from a charismatic villain and their sharply realized script. I, I agree. And another quick one, I'll throw it real fast. It's just a one liner um, by a guy named Damon fudge from KCCI Des Moines, Iowa or Desmond for those who keep it playing trivial pursuit. Uh, 
Heretic is a tense and cerebral psychological thriller with a delightfully evil turn from Hugh Grant. And I agree with that 100%. Hugh Grant, for those that are unaware, I really love Hugh Grant as an actor. I truly do. I love all the rom-coms. I know it sounds a little sissy, but I love Hugh Grant as an actor. This Hugh Grant is freaking awesome. Give him a kiss, Andy. You're right there. Just go ahead and... Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love it. Okay. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's mildly brilliant, Gary. That's the worst Clinton I've ever done. But uh, yeah, this this movie, I look, just go see it, people. Uh, yeah, you've, you've seen enough of this review for this. Go see this movie. This movie should be a blockbuster film. It is fantastic. It is everything you expect, everything you want from this movie. It keeps you on the edge of your seat and it it delivers everything. I don't know if I go so far as to call this a horror movie. Um, right. I mean, it's more of a thriller, and but it's got so much to it. I will say this uh, as a quick aside: the, the what I thought was really great about this was that the script itself is a smart script and a well-written script. But you got to have people to, to bring that to life, and I thought the acting was really, really good in this movie. Everybody. I mean, there's not a lot of characters, so so there's not. You know, there's, it's not like there's a dud, <laughs> but no, but they I mean, all, they are all really good. You really yeah. feel what these characters, the, the two main characters, you've, you feel with them in that moment. I and was I'm scared not, with them. Nothing. Yeah. You don't want to say anything to give it away, but I was like, oh my God, um, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. And it's so much more than what I got. I only saw the, the first trailer, which yeah. didn't give you a whole lot. I never saw anything after that. So some people going in might have a better idea of what this movie actually is. I did not. I knew that there was two missionaries that show up at Hugh Grant's house and yeah. they appear to be stuck there or something. That's about the the extent of anything I knew. Yeah. It's yep. it um it does not go the direction I thought it was going. It it kept me like I was not able to figure out what was gonna happen. It's it's got a nice build to it and um the acting, I mean, it just really puts you in the moment and you really are like, you're uneasy with the characters, you know, yeah. with, right along with them. So anyway, great film. Uh, I, I think everybody should go check it out if you're into that kind of thing. Absolutely. Uh, and, and like you, I'll, I'll parrot what you said. It's, 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 it's not a horror film. There's a little bit of gore and there's a little bit of jump scare type things, but yeah, it, it's, it's not, it's, it's definitely in a psychological thriller and, and it, it really packs a punch and it's awesome. I agree. All right. Well, check out our spoiler review. If you want to see a little bit more, we are going to go into depth there. So if you don't want to see that yet, um, watch the movie and then go visit that one and see what you think. Thanks everybody. Catch us next time. Please like comment, subscribe, and let us know if you see it. This has been a Touch of Madness production brought to you by the creative minds at Tommy Twins Media.